Hello from the Daily Dad. Now, just about everyone has a charger that looks like this. A battery pack that has a connecting wire that plugs into your phone's charge port. And this is all fine and good if you're going to charge your phone like this on a nightstand while you're sleeping. But what happens when you're actually on an important call and the phone is about to die? Or what if you're someone who is in the midst of taking videos and your phone is about to die? Isn't pulling out a big old brick and holding both the phone and charger a bit clunky? Well, this uniquely designed phone charger might be the answer, or it might be an answer to a problem that doesn't really exist. Either way, let's review the Anchor Nano Power Bank, and let me ask myself, is it for me? This is a review of the Anchor Nano Power Bank today on The Daily Dad. Let me first disclose that I purchased this charger on Amazon with my own money. I am not being paid for this review, although I wish that I was, but all opinions are my own. And I'm merely asking the question, does this $26 phone charger work for me? Well, let's unbox and see what we have. In this box, there are really only two things of note. There's the included charge cord, which has a USB-C head on both ends. I doubt most people would own or have the accompanying power brick, so you can either invest in a USB-C brick like this, but I think finding a charge cord that has a USB-C head on one end and a USB-A on the other is going to be your best bet. Anyway, the battery is compact and feels comfortable in my hands. The surface is a bit smooth, so it may slip out of your fingertips if you're not careful. It's certainly small enough to slip into your pocket. There are four LED lights that let you gauge how much juice remains. And in our first test, we're going to see how long it will take for this battery to charge from zero blinking lights to four full LED lights. By the way, the other end of the black charge cord is out of frame but it has a USB-C head on one end so that it can connect to the nano power bank. The other end is a USB-A head and it's plugged into my cheapo Aspire 5 Acer laptop. So I'm basically drawing power from my laptop to recharge this power bank. Now, let's test how long it takes for the Anchor Nano Power Bank to deplete itself when charging a phone. As well, let's also see how much juice it can give to a dying phone. This iPhone 15 Pro currently has only 4% of charge left. So here we are at 10.14 AM. Let's plug in the battery and see where things take us. I have to say that overall, I like it and I'm going to keep it. But let me list some pros and cons as you decide whether it's for you. For me, adding 57% of charge will probably allow me to get six more hours of time to stream videos in HD, but your mileage will vary. In any case, as long as my phone is over 50% in terms of charge, I always feel better about the day ahead, but is that enough for you? I think when people purchase a battery charger, they'd like for it to be able to charge a phone fully at least twice. So if you only were to have one charger, this one probably wouldn't be it. If you use the Amazon coupon at checkout, you can get this for under $20, and that is an amazing deal. I like the fact that we don't have to fumble with a large power bank and a charge cord. Here, the battery just attaches to the charge port 
and holding the phone still feels very natural. Finally, I take videos quite a bit and I really don't want to be caught in a situation where my phone is about to shut off. This is just a nice little compact top off battery to help your phone power through the rest of the day. So it is a good find and it's a keeper. Hey, this is the Daily Dad reminding you to try new things and to be happy. 